Hello students, good morning. Today we continue data sufficiency. We solve many more question. The next question each of the following questions consist of a question and two statement numbered first and second given below it you have to decide whether the data provided in the statement are sufficient to answer the question read both statement and give answer option first if the data in a statement first alone are sufficient option b if the data in the statement second alone are sufficient option c if the data either in the statement first or in the statement second alone are sufficient next option d if the data given in both both statement first and second together are not sufficient last option e if the data in both a statement first and second together are necessary now solve some of questions question number 1 among d f j p and a who reached office last here statement first f and j reached office together statement second on the d and p reached office ahead of j here solution is from first and second we conclude that only d and p reached office ahead of j and thus f this implies that a reached last so the data in both first and second together are required to answer the given question next question question number 2 how many speeches 
were delivered in the two day program here statement first 18 speakers were invited to give at least one speech out of which one sixth of the speakers could not come statement second gave two speeches each the solution is from first we find that number of speakers who attended program total number of speakers minus 1/6 of total number of speakers 18 minus 1 by 1/6 of 18 equals to 3 and 18 minus 3 15 so total number of uh, speakers who attended program is 15 and from second in second statement one third of the speakers gave two speech each so we find that one third of 15 that is five speakers gave two speeches each by each of the remaining ten speakers delivered only one speech so total number of speech delivered will be 5 into 2 plus 10 into 1 equals to 20 so both statement are necessary to answer the given question next question question number 3 vinod and javed salaries are in the proportion of 4 ratio 3 respectively what is vinod salary here statement is here statement first javed salary is 75% that of vinod salary statement second javed salary is rupees 4500 here solution is statement first is merely an interpretation of the information contain in the question however vinod salary can be as certain from second as follows let vinod and javed salary be 4x and 3x
then 3x equals to 4500 x equals to 1500 so we know salary is 4x 4 into 1500 equals to rupees 6000 so only statement second alone are sufficient next question question number four how many visitors saw the exhibition yesterday here is statement first each entry pass holder can take up to three person with him or her statement second in all 243 passes were sold yesterday the solution is from first and second we find that maximum 243 into 3 that is 729 visitors saw the exhibition but the exact number cannot be determined from both the statement So both statement are not sufficient to give answer. Next question, question number five. Salary is rupees four thousand. What is Atul's salary? What is Atul's monthly salary? Here is statement first. Atul gets rupees 500 more than the average salary of his and Rajiv's. Statement second is average or of Rajiv's and Atul's salary is rupees 4500 here solution is from first a standard first Atul gets rupees 500 more than the average salary of his and Rajiv's salary so the average salary of his and Rajiv's salary is Atul plus Rajiv divided by 2 and according to statement Atul gets rupees 500 more than so Atul minus the average salary of Atul and Rajiv equals to 500 then LCM 2 2a minus a plus r equals to 500 a minus r equals to 1000 so according to question Rajiv's salary is 4000 rupees 4000 a minus 4000 equals to 1000 so Atul's salary is rupees 5000 from second in his statement second average salary of Rajiv and Atul's is rupees 4500 so average salary of Atul and Rajiv equals to 4500 according to question Rajiv salary is 4000 by cross multiplication a plus 4000 
equals to 9000 and Atul salary is rupees 5000 that is Atul salary is rupees 5000 so either statement first or second is sufficient to answer the given question so thank you student